All right, exciting things happened tonight at ULM's Paul Convocation. Gabby Ballou has more on what it means for the students. Over 400 first-time freshmen and new students came together for this year's annual fall convocation. They were joined by the Sound of Today Band and Spirit Groups. Senior Toxicology major and Campus Activities Board President Bo Benoit says how diverse this year's group was. Not only are freshmen participating, but they're also going to be people from Spirit, Athletics, uh, representatives from different colleges of ULM, and really it's just whoever feels like getting out of their dorm and getting a little study break. One of the most notable traditions to take place during convocation every year is marching across the bridge to Malone Stadium or Fant Ewing Coliseum. Dr. Mark A. Rand, the Vice President for Academic Affairs, explains what crossing the bridge represents. It's an understanding of your crossing into a new phase of your life, moving from high school into college. Once everyone crossed the bridge to Malone Stadium, they were able to hear from Dr. Ron Berry and speakers from various organizations on and off campus. Plus, they were able to watch their first pep rally. Corbin Cole is a freshman pre-nursing major, and she says she's excited for all the traditions ULM has to offer. It's going to be really cool to see what ULM's all about and kind of get a feel for where we're going to be on Saturday nights and Saturday afternoons for football games. Cole says she had the chance to meet new people while taking part in convocation. We, I'm seeing a lot of faces that I do and don't know. So that's really cool and people that I didn't realize I was going to school with. Benoit says during his time almost four years ago as a freshman, convocation looked different for him after returning to campus from the COVID-19 pandemic. However, he still cheered on the Warhawks even through all of the changes and he hopes the students are able to understand the meaning of convocation. My convocation, everybody had masks and now you have so many people that are so close to each other and we've really been able to get back to what convocation was always meant to be about being close, about having that family, about seeing and so many people in one place at one time. In Monroe, I'm Gabby Ballou with KNOE 8 News.